All right, getting ready to start the battle of a looter. I'm gonna give you a little drop in from time to time. We don't know if we'll give you a whole playthrough, but uh, we're getting ready to start it on off here. Uh, in the early morning of August 27th, and the weather is clear. So, uh, first thing we're gonna do is fire up this battery. They're gonna go after this uh, little grouping of soldiers. I don't know if they're battalions or what, but there's a grouping of musketeers and pikemen. They're at the bridge, right outside the mill. And uh, we're gonna give them a big old white die. We're gonna fire some artillery. First thing we gotta do is look at their range. They are two hexes away. I already got a six. So let's see here. Do this together. Uh, two hexes with a six. Oh, that's nothing. No effect, so these artillery rolls are definitely on a low roll. All right, no effect. So uh, we will go to the next battery down here. We're gonna fire at the same same unit. Looking for low rolls. Oh, there's more no effects. This is artillery going off all around these boys, but nothing happened. That was uh, useless. We're going back here to sequence of play. Artillery bombardment movement phase. All right, let me move some units around. Let you show what the before is. Be back with the after. Well, all right, here is the after. One thing you gotta realize in this game, or you get to realize right away, is how in other games there's only stacking of one unit, and how this is a small area, and you gotta get these units, like right here, I had to get these guys out of the way, so this guy can come on through. So you got definitely a lot of maneuver going on here. As far as combats go, for instance, I don't think these guys can attack these guys because they don't project the zone of control over across the river. This guy can't because he's on a bridge. Same thing here. No zone of control going across here. So we can't, you know, it isn't, it isn't mandatory to attack this hex. You can't attack this hex anyway, it's artillery. Uh, and you can't attack artillery, you can just move on up there. And he didn't have enough movement points. I put that artillery just right out of range. So he'll be going against these. So I got two fights on the bridges actually going on. You can see my cavalry's getting on the road and getting ready to move on up. And I'm just getting everybody else just moved. Three hexes or so. Everybody turned sideways has moved. We're getting ready for our first combat on the bridge. And our combatants are Hebers Herberdorf versus Lebach. And uh, Herberdorf has a uh, old Erwait lead him into battle. Be back with uh, Tales of the Tape and modifiers. Important bridges do not negate the defense effect of rivers and streams. Huh. Alright. I want to see something here real quick. I didn't think they could attack across the river, but maybe they do. Can. We'll be right back. Alright. Special rules. For this scenario is uh, no cavalry charges, and I noticed that on the uh, um, counters. They had their cavalry charge number in black, and there was none of those on these units. Uh, east side of the map just tells you about a certain uh, cavalry unit there that can't suffer demoralization. And uh, one thing I was keep on calling these guys. Uh, uh, Holy Roman Empire, it has them listed as Imperial, so that, we'll just, that's a lot easier <laughs> to call them the other thing, but uh, another note, it says here, this is kind of conflicting, uh, let me see here, zones of control extended to and across all terrain types unless otherwise spec specified game by game rules on a terrain effect chart, then right down here, contradicts itself. Zone of controls do not extend across unabridged river hex sides. I think I'm going to go with that one. So we'll see here. Do I extend them across all terrain types? And it's under rules and it doesn't say anything about it or under the uh, terrain effects chart. We'll be looking at this again real quick. We'll be right back. All right well this will straighten it out. And it does say here it specifies a river hexide 
and Wittok, which is the other game that uh, zones of control do not extend across Riverhead side. It does not, however, say that about this. This is a stream. So I guess zones of control do extend across the stream. We'll have to remember that. So that means he can add his, uh, or it's mandatory that he adds his uh, little attack factor. He's doubled. He went the bridge, so he's going to be 16. So let me do the math real quick, and we'll be right back. All right, then, here's the numbers. Uh, Imperial forces did have 19. We'll go up to 34 versus a 16. That'll be a 2 to 1 odds attack. And there's a 2 to 1 odds table. I think we are looking for a, uh, huh, I guess a 6? I don't know. We'll find out. We'll find out what it means. Let's take it a 3. 2 to 1 is a DX. Oh, explanation of kind of blah, 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 blah. DX. There you go. Once you see it, I'm going to read it myself. Be right back. All right, well, that was not a good attack on the battle for the bridge. Uh, according to results, these guys are disrupted. Disrupted units can't attack. Uh, don't, they don't exert zones of control. And they're one step away from being eliminated. You want to kind of pull these guys back. That's one thing about this game, too. You should exit a lot of the units off the map if you think you're going to get eliminated because you don't want these guys to get these points. Definitely want to be racking up these numbers for victory points. But, uh, yeah, that's a result. That's how they're going to stand. They are disrupted. Now, they'll be able to uh, try to rally back in a rally phase, but uh, disruption has no effect on the leader. But, uh, let me see. Let me straighten him out here real quick. There you go. We're moving on to the next combat. And, uh, since their zones of control extend across the river, it's a good thing I ain't got nobody over here. <laughs> and he can't do nothing with this unit right there because he hasn't got enough movement points. So he just went on in there and grabbed the old cannon and turned it around. And you can do that. You can turn around and face him towards the other guy, capture him, and capture him back and forth all game, use him against the other guy. So, next attack against. Ooh. Slamanberdorf, oh my gosh. Slaman, Slamaner, Slamanersdorf versus old Kronberg, a leader. And his battalion's up by old B. Alt Tilly. Oh, Till. B. Alt Till. Whatever that's all about. I get more historic. Guys, gotta let us know more about these units. Alright, we'll be right back. All right, next one's gonna be a one-to-one -one attack. I'm going across some swollen streams of bitch. I thought about holding off on the attack, but if there's somebody that extends a zone of control into your hex, it's mandatory. I was maybe gonna wait for some other forces to come on up, but I'm seeing my mistakes here already. We'll see what goes on here. Oh, a one. It's a one-to-one -one attack. It is a DD. Be right back. Alright, well that was a better result. Defender disrupted. No negative effects on the attacker, so that was a good attack. But that's going to be it for the opening salvos. We'll look and see what goes on around here next. Oh, shoot, 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 shoot. Oh, phases. Combat phase. Second player turn. Alright, we'll be right back. Alright, it's old Christian and a Danish forces turn. And the first thing they get a chance to do that the uh, Imperials did not is a chance to rally these troops back. So we'll be trying to rally this one and this one. And these troops are useless. They're just uh, disrupted. They project no zone of control and they can't attack. So we'll be back to try to rally these troops. Alright, well we won't be doing that. And you can see here that it says uh, disrupted units in enemy zones can turn up control and cannot attempt to rally. Hmm, very interesting. So we got to move these guys back and get these guys. Oh, there's a cluster, you know, what we got here. So we get to move these guys around here. Oh, this is tactics and uh, pike and shot combat. Okay, well, these guys can't attempt to rally. Another thing is, if there's a leader stacked with them or adjacent to them, that's a modifier, positive modifier. So we'll even move it on. These guys cannot rally up because they are too close to the enemy. Makes sense. Alright, let's see what we got going on here. I believe it's uh, 
gunpowder. Fire up time for the uh, Danes. And they will be going to, uh, let me see here. Fall determination, we skipped that. We did our rally. Now we're gonna try bombarding. We'll be back for the first offensive actions. Oh, 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 Christian. 